What is up, guys? Welcome to the first episode <coughs> of Math Made Easy, and I am Kirk. Um, and today we're going to be talking about this. We're going to be talking about the basics of algebra, because I felt like it's a good, you know, thing to start off this channel, because I know a lot of kids who just see this and are intimidated right off the bat. This is x, right? This is a variable. People are like, okay, like, what does it mean? Like, what is x? And perhaps the purpose of algebra is, you know, kind of solving for this variable, right? A variable is um, an abstract. Now, it's an abstract and not a tangible. So, a tangible is a number like, say, 3. That's a tangible. It's something that we know, kind of, we could put a quantity to. You know, three little things here. Three circles. But x, we don't know how many circles there are, right? But we want to find out. So, first thing about any x, or really any letter in algebra, in basic algebra for the most part, is it's not. It is not tangible. You know, if you if you use Roman numerals, you might think it's always ten, but that unfortunately is not the case in your algebra classes. So, what if I have something like x plus one? What does that fundamentally mean? Well, it fundamentally means one more than x. So, let's just say x is 3, then x plus 1 is going to be 4, right? What if we set it equal to something like 4, and then we wanted to see solve for x, right? We would have, we, we know the value of x plus 1, right? But we need to manipulate this equation in some way that it will be able to, um, give us the value of x, right? So, what, I mean, what should we do here? A great common thing I have people say is just, oh, well, it's x plus 1, so just, like, should we just add another 1 on there? No, that's going to give us x plus 2, right? That's not going to work, right? Another thing people will do is they'll, like, say, okay, so x plus 1 should be divide or multiply x by something? No, you subtract, right? So, when we're solving algebraic equation, algebraic equation exponents, which I, will, which I will talk about in a different video, will always be kind of part of the reciprocal of themselves. But, don't really pay attention to that, but what's important is multiplication and division go together, and then addition and subtraction go together. And when you see addition in the problem, you immediately resort to subtraction. If you see multiplication in the problem, you resort to division. And this also goes the other way. If you see subtraction in the problem, resort to addition. If you see division in the problem, resort to multiplication. So, if I, I see addition in this problem, right? This plus one quantity. So I'm going to resort to subtraction, right? So I'm just going to minus one, this. And I see x equals four. No, 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 no. Why is that wrong? Because I only subtracted one from this one side, guys. Did you, did you catch that? 
I was kind of testing you there. What we're going to have to do is subtract it from both of these sides so we would find that our x equals 3. Um, so, um, so that's kind of how the whole addition and subtraction thing works. So, um, here we go. Um, last topic is going to be multiplication, and then we're just going to do, um, kind of solve a combination equation. So, oops, sorry guys, highlighter tool. No. Um, Okay, so now let's say we have 2x What is going- what is happening? What is happening? Hey guys, technical difficulties at the moment. Please stand by. <laughs> what is happening? This work? Okay, why is this not working? Why is this not working? Okay, so we'll, you're just going to have to deal with the highlighter tool for now. Let's just say 2x equals 10. How would we manipulate this so that we could find x, right? As we saw earlier, multiplication kind of goes with division. So, we would divide both sides by 2, would we not? get x equals 5. We don't divide one side by 2. No, 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 no. And we don't do any other operations to this. It's that simple, guys. Just Okay. So, lastly, what if we have something that looks like 3x plus I don't know plus 2 and we set that equal to 14 now I'll give you guys 10 seconds to do this problem okay so you should pause the video or something have that done by now so you, but you might be thinking which one do I do first which one do I do first? Well, let's try both. Subtract two. Let's try this first. Okay, so we get 3x Okay, and then we divide both sides by 3. x equals 4. Does it not? Okay. Now let's try the other one. Divide both sides by 3 first, we will get x plus. <laughs> two thirds um, equals 14. Thirds. Um. I'm just kind of separate this from the rest. So, x plus 2 thirds equals 14 thirds. Okay. So, <laughs> don't know why that wasn't working back there, but. 
So then, we've just taken a not very complicated, you know, integer algebraic equation and made it into something that has all kinds of thirds in it. And when you think about it, we've reduced this from a bind in this equation, when we had this 3x, we've reduced this from a binomial to a monomial, which just means that this has two terms of different degrees of x, this has one term. But we didn't reduce this to a monomial. So this reveals that um, both ways you could do, but most of the time I'm going to advise you to do the um, first way, addition, subtraction first, when solving these, but don't do that with the order of operations, guys, because that's a, that's a whole different beast. So, but either way, we will find x equals 4. Well done.